Saints, if you just tuned in, it's a behind-the-screen special, Apocalypse and the End Times. We're talking to Paul Maguire. And I think it's very dangerous for any nation to put its hand against the nation of Israel. And plus, George Bush has said very publicly before he left office is that he wanted to get this, this, this peace map or this road map pushed through with Israel. Yes, and the sad thing about that is that this, this road map to peace, the Quartet of Nations, Russia, the European Union, the United States, Unfortunately, the president and other presidents are being advised by ministers who don't know what the Bible says. And the essential teaching of the Bible, and you can't understand Bible prophecy without this, is that, like it or not, good or bad, Israel, the land of Israel, is God's land. He gave it to the Jews through Abraham in an everlasting covenant. And that means, as you know, just because you may be in unbelief or just because you may not be, and we're not saying Israel's perfect, Israel makes a lot of mistakes, but that doesn't mean God takes the land away from that's them right. any more than God takes away our salvation when we make mistakes. Excellent so that's, that's God's land. And we're approaching the time soon when Jesus Christ is going to return, not to Brooklyn or Van Nuys or uh, Britain or Ireland or He's coming back to Jerusalem. And not a divided one. Not a divided no. one. And Jerusalem will be the capital of planet Earth. Where do you believe this road map to peace in Israel is leading? I, I'm laughing, uh, laughing with humor, sadness, and terror all at the same time. I, I wrote about it in my book, uh, Are You Ready? That's why you see the, the yes. nuclear holocaust. It's a cover. wonderful book. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. No, it is really. Where I believe that it's coming, I believe that the road map to peace is the road map to Armageddon. And I believe that the road map to peace is an invitation for terrorists to strike Israel by bringing the terrorists into closer proximity to Israel. God forbid that a nuclear weapon would detonate in Tel Aviv. The roadmap to peace is the roadmap to Armageddon. It's going to produce the exact opposite result. Instead of bringing about peace, it's going to bring about Holocaust. Rory and I, when we were in Israel, we really felt that Satan was trying to preempt, to rush things up preemptively and push things up. Wendy's literally and, taking the words out my mouth. That's yeah. exactly and, what I was going to say. What I'm, can we do to stop that? Yeah, can we praying. slow it down? Do you think we should be praying as the body of Christ around the world as they're watching this program to slow this process down? For God's will. You know, that's an excellent question. I get asked that all the time. People are always saying, well, what if you do this, you're going to interfere with Bible prophecy. If you do this, you're going to interfere with Bible prophecy. There's nothing that we can do to interfere with Bible prophecy. God is sovereign. I could stand up and speak to the wind. I'm not going to stop God's prophetic timetable. So we never have to worry about stopping Bible prophecy. God's sovereign. However, uh, I heard you pray this, and I heard Wendy talk about this. God, give us more time uh, for the harvest. God honors that prayer. That, that type of prayer is repeated throughout the Old Testament. People interceded. God was going to judge a nation, or judgment was going to come, and an intercessor rose up and said, God, give us more time. God wants to give more time because he wants all people to come to Christ. So yes, I believe the enemy would love to bring about an instantaneous Armageddon, but I believe as intercessors, we're not interfering with Bible prophecy, but we are asking God for more time so that the harvest can come in. I believe God will honor that prayer. And you know, I, I believe there's going to be a shift and in, in the government of Israel, and I believe that the Lord will put his man in there and that will protect Israel for a time. Yes. And just slow it down. I, d I really feel that. I do.